Welcome to the Pilates Show, where we explore Pilates tips and techniques to help deepen the skill level of the movement educator while having fun. Hi everyone, this is a prone bridge. So obviously we are all very familiar with the traditional bridge lying on the back, but this is a great variation of that from Ann McMillan's Deep Core Cross Change Trains workshop on our EDU website. Um, and so she uses a foam roller here, and you have your client lie with the top of the pubic bone iliac crest on the roller. They can be on their forearms here, and there's lots of reach into the elbows and a lift in the lower belly. And so to come into this prone bridge, you're going to bend your knees, flex through your feet. And as you exhale, you're floating one foot up to the ceiling, getting lots of glute hamstring activation and then lowering down. And so I really like this exercise because I get some upper body work, I get deep core work, and I'm also really firing the hamstrings and glutes in a way that's slightly different from the traditional bridge. There's also some cross lateral work here as you float one knee off and one knee on. An additional cue you can give your clients is to press down on the sole of their foot as they're lifting to give them added resistance and core connection. And one thing just to look out for, right, is that they're keeping their belly lifted and the ribs floating towards the ceiling. So they're not collapsing as they're trying to lift and lower, but they're staying connected through their deep core cross chains as they float one leg up at a time. That's it for today. If you have a different take on today's subject or if there's anything you'd like to see covered in an upcoming episode, we'd love to hear from you. Comment below, on Facebook, Twitter, or in the forum at fusionpilatesedu.com. See you next time and never stop learning.